Yo, what is up you guys and welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down a full line vending machine route for sale in my area. We're going to go over the numbers and how much the route makes and I want your guys' opinion on whether I should or shouldn't buy this route this week. So recently, this full line vending machine route came up for sale in my area. It's six machines all on location. So I went ahead and called the guy and I asked for some more information. And with this information, I kind of wanted to break down the cost, the cost of ownership, how much it's going to cost for me to get into it and how much it makes. And I want to kind of go over the numbers. And I really want your guys' opinion, whether you guys think it's a good deal or not. I will be using this business as kind of an investment model. I want to put some money away and see the kind of return I can make on it over a year. It's not necessarily something that I'm going to expect to make all the money back in one year, but I want to own it for a while and hopefully make a good return on the money that I put into it. With that being said, let's go over some of the numbers. I will be check it out the route two days from now. I'm going to be walking the entire route with the owner of it. So I'll have more details for that. I'm going to film that for you guys as well. But let's go over the numbers. And let's see what you guys think. So the asking price for the route is $24,000. It's negotiable. Everything's negotiable in business, of course. I don't know exactly what I'm going to offer on it yet. Maybe when I walk through it, I'll have more of an idea of what condition it's in and all that type of a thing. But the route is $24,000 for six locations with six machines on them. All the machines are the healthy vending style machines. I'll add a picture right here. These machines are pretty high quality, brand new. They go for around $6,000. I looked online and I found some numbers around there. And used, they seem to be going around for like $2,500 to $3,500, so I put in $3,000. At the asking price of $24,000, that's only $4,000 per location with the machines already there. And mind you, a few of these healthy vending machine locations already have the machines with the side, the stretch out like accordion side, that even holds more inventory, which equals more sales, hopefully. Those machines are even upgraded, I think, an extra $1,800, so it does come with those as well. When it comes to the locations, what's nice is they all are in my general area. I would say the furthest location is maybe 45 minutes away so that's pretty reasonable all the locations are pretty decent as far as the guy says i'm gonna go walk them in a few days like i said i'm gonna bring you guys with so we can check them out together and you guys give me your feedback but all the locations seem pretty good apparently a few of them are really high traffic and the rest are kind of just normal medium traffic locations but the few high traffic locations apparently make up for most of the revenue on the entire row also what's kind of cool is only one location is a commission location the guy was telling me it's a pretty low commission at that so that's pretty nice knowing that more money is going to stay in my pocket of course when it comes to the locations this isn't like a higher income area i would say so the prices on the snack and, and drinks are super high in my opinion. There's a lot of items that are like 60% cost and he has them at like $2.50. The return on investment is absolutely crazy when it comes to that. So the way that he has a pricing structure right now, it seems like there's a lot of profit to be made in this route. The one thing that I'm not really that excited about is that this route needs to be serviced once a week. I'm not trying to sound like a diva, but just having to do something once a week compared to the bring the gumball machine route where I can just service them on the go as I want. You can really stretch out the gumball service period to so a way longer time than that. It's gonna be something different to have to be at these locations every single week with new products and be ready to service them. It's gonna be some work, but I just have to get used to that. All six machines are completely decked out even a few of them have like led um screens where you can like upload like a logo of your company or like text or whatever you want there which is pretty cool they'll have the credit card readers and they all have the software where you can track this stuff right from your phone the inventory the sales and everything else the gross revenue on the road apparently and this guy says that he's going to show me all the records and everything so i'm going to believe him up until this point is over thirty-five thousand dollars in one year for the six locations which i think is pretty good let's just say the margin is 50 percent on product cost i mean that's still a pretty good profit for just doing a little bit of work once a week so that's kind of the row right now those are some of the numbers i'm looking at that's kind of what all the information I have this moment. I will be walking the road in a few days. I'm gonna bring you guys with me for that. I'm gonna film as much as I can, as much as the guy feels comfortable, of course, but I'm gonna be walking the road in a few days. I'm gonna get more information then, but what do you guys think? Do you guys think this sounds pretty good? The deal sounds pretty good to me. I think I can make a decent return on my investment. The way that I look at it is if I were to invest $24,000 anywhere else, let's say the stock market or even real estate, I'd probably expect a return of 3% to maybe 10% a year. But if this all goes well and I buy this row for $24,000 or even under, if I can you know, negotiate somewhat, I can make a way higher return on my investment with just a little bit of sweat equity of me driving around these places and refilling them and pulling the money, which I don't really mind doing. That's not that hard of a job in my opinion. For just six locations, of course. Let me know if I'm missing anything when it comes to the numbers and everything. I'm sure you guys know better than me. Leave a comment whether you guys think I should or shouldn't buy this route. Please like this video if you guys like this and subscribe for more business content. And other than that, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.